Okay, we have a circuit here. It has three batteries in series, and right now a single light bulb. There's a switch also uh, that will turn it on. So we'll turn on the switch, and this meter here is functioning as an ammeter, and it's reading 0.36 amps. Notice that for an ammeter, you have to put it into the path of the current. So it's going through the batteries, into the ammeter on one side, out the other side, into the light bulb, and into the switch, and over the other side to the battery. Now this uh, meter here is functioning as a voltmeter, so it's reading negative 3.38 volts. Notice for voltage, it's easier to measure, you just have to probe either side of the bulb. Also here, we're measuring the voltage of this first battery. It's reading 1.17. Notice if I move it to the next one, we can probe the voltage, it's reading 1.13. Finally, move it to the last one. Okay, and now it's reading 1.20. So the reason why that one's reading 3.3 .3 or so is because the three voltages of the individual batteries add up. Now the next thing we're going to do is to add another light bulb. So we'll unplug this one and add another wire and put another bulb in the thing. So we'll put another bulb into the circuit. Okay, so now this time the light bulbs aren't as bright. The current now is reading 0 0.25. And then I want to measure the current, the voltage for that one light bulb. It's 1.77. For both light bulbs, it's 3.55. And so for both light bulbs, I have the probe covering like on one side of one light bulb and on the other side of another light bulb. So for both, it's 3.55. And then for just this light bulb, I just probe there, like so, it's going to be 1.7. So the 1.7 and 1.7 gives us the 3.55. Finally, we add a third light bulb. So we have to add another wire to connect this one in series to this light bulb. We could connect them in parallel, but I'm just doing this in the series. And so now we have all three light bulbs wired in series. And current this time is reading 0 0.20. Uh, if we read the voltage for the entire circuit, okay. So for the, all three light bulbs, notice I have one probe there at the first light bulb. We follow through the circuit on the end at the last light bulb. We have the other probe and it's reading 3.64 as our voltage. Okay, so 3.64 for the voltage and 0 0.20 for the current.